Training Module 4.7 Water Productivity The learning objective of this module is to understand the concept of water productivity. In AquaCrop we make a distinction between the biomass water productivity and the ET water productivity. The biomass water productivity that is the conceptual relation at the core of AquaCrop. It is given by the slope of the line of the transpiration biomass curve. It expresses the amount of biomass produced per unit of water lost by transpiration. So it is the biomass water productivity. It gives the relationship between biomass and transpiration. It is a conservative crop parameter. On the other end, we have the ET water productivity, or also called water use efficiency. It gives the relationship between crop yield and ET. It is a performance indicator, which is far from a conservative crop parameter. It needs to be optimized. It tells me how well my system is producing in function of the water use. It is an efficiency, and an efficiency quantifies the output obtained from a given input. The input can be money, for example the investment made in water supply, and then the output will be the financial return obtained from irrigation. We can also express the efficiency in function of water, and then the input can be the amount of water taken from a source, a river, a well, a reservoir, and the output is then the amount of water lost at the field by evapotranspiration. Now a lot of water taken at the input will be lost, either by distribution losses from the source to the field, either by application losses at the field during the irrigation process. This efficiency is called the irrigation project efficiency and the average of the world is only about 50%. So 50% of the amount of water taken from the source is not lost by evapotranspiration at the field. Now, during the process of evapotranspiration, the stomata are open and a lot of CO2 can be taken up. And at crop maturity, we will have crop yield. Now, if I rearrange the terms and use as input the water used by evapotranspiration and as output the yield produce it at crop maturity, then I have the water use efficiency or the ET water productivity. The ET water productivity expresses the yield which was produced per cubic meter of water lost by evapotranspiration at field level. On the top we have the ET water productivity and at the bottom we have the biomass water productivity. ET water productivity tells me how much kilograms of yield I got per cubic meter of water lost by ET, while the biomass water productivity is the biomass produced per cubic meter of water lost by transpiration. Let me run a simulation which consists of the simulation of irrigated tomatoes. The dry yield is given here and corresponds with 8.3 tons per hectare. In the production tab sheet of the simulation run, I find information about the harvest index, but also about the ET water productivity, which is displayed here. It corresponds for this simulation 
with 1.49 kilograms dry yield per cubic meter of water lost by evapotranspiration. It is an indicator of how well the water was used in the production of yield. The biomass water productivity is a crop parameter, conservative crop parameter. In the environment tab sheet, I can see what I'm simulating. The crop parameters of the tomato crop can be displayed by clicking on the icon. I am in the crop file and now in the production tab sheet I can find the biomass water productivity. It is the normalized water productivity equal to 18 grams per square meter which was normalized for climate and for the CO2 concentration of the year 2000. When I run a simulation for a different irrigation strategy, I get a lower yield, which is now only 7.8 tons instead of 8.3 tons. But if I look at the performance indicator, I see that the ET water productivity has increased from 1.49 to 1.55. The biomass water productivity, however, remains the same. 18 grams per square meter. 